term offensive I did is just throw it around a lot. I'm not even sure what yours is right now. Does it matter at all to have an offensive identity? Um, I think uh, I think when you're when you're when you're click things are clicking, then you get labeled as having an identity more, I guess, because it's either you're running, you know, your, your team that runs the ball well, or your team that's really balanced. And we're, we're team we're, we're striving to be a team that is balanced and does both well. And uh, right now we're struggling uh, in the passing game. So, um, I wouldn't say, you know, I don't know, I didn't get it right now. How, how close are you to, to getting that part fixed? Do you, do you feel like it's still, is it the schedule or is it, or is it, is it you guys? Uh, I think it's, I think it's a lot of us. I, I really do. I think it's stuff that is easily um, uh, fixable from the details and, and the quarterbacks uh, making a good decision or, or making an accurate throw or us putting them in the right position in a certain situation. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of things as you go back and look at the, particularly the last two weeks. And I do think that the opponent, I mean, those are, those are two quality defenses, two of the top defenses in the Pac-12. Uh, so I, I think you have to give those guys some credit too. But I, I think for us, we're looking at it, controlling what we can control. And uh, right now we're just, we're not playing at a high enough standard in, in the passing game consistent enough. It's, it's really frustrating because there's a lot of positive things away from the turnovers um, that I, I felt like uh, really, Chance and Ben the last couple of weeks made some great decisions, some good throws, got some explosive plays. We just you can't have those those turnovers, particularly in the red zone, and, and uh, expect to you know come out on top versus those two quality opponents. You've got five five games of video now on, on Chance. Would, would you say he's improved over a year ago? Because the numbers kind of suggest he has. Yeah, uh, after the first three games, I would have probably said that. Um, the last two games have been you know, pretty frustrating, and really I think he only played a quarter in the last game. But um, I think the guys that are around him, you know, that him on the day-to-day feel like he's he's improved a lot from last year, and I just I don't feel like the last game and a quarter are uh, a good reflection of where, he's, of where he's at, an accurate reflection. I think he's just a... Too small of a sample size, I guess, and uh, we've got to get him to play out at a higher level as coaches. And, and Chance, I think, will be the first guy to tell you that he's uh, he hasn't played at the level that he's capable of the last couple of weeks. What was your impression of Ben on Saturday? Um, man, I thought I thought there was a like I said, there's a lot of positive things about Ben's performance. That's not an easy spot to really go in and get your, I mean, really first kind of meaningful snaps. Um, on the road at Utah, the place was loud and against a really good defense that gives you a lot of different looks and plays a lot of tight man coverage. Um, I thought I thought he did a lot of really good things, and, and I mean, the, the two the two turnovers in the red zone, kicking himself on, um, and just kind of understanding the situations that we were in there and being smart with the football. But man, I thought he he got in there and we moved the football and, and really didn't didn't miss a beat or didn't feel like we couldn't call anything that we had on the call sheet. So I was I was pretty proud of him in that that respect. But, just the, the two, 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 two turnovers we got to clean up. If he's the guy that ends up going on Saturday, how, how important is it? He's never had a start where he's been, he's never had a start really. And your game plan for him is how much different is that for a quarterback? Uh, As opposed to what he had to go through Saturday. Yeah, I think it's it's different. Your first start, there's always probably some nerves there. But um, shoot, I think we just, uh, we have a lot of trust in Ben and his uh, experience in our system doing the things that we do. and. I don't think there'll be much change schematically. Um, just maybe some things in the opener, um, you know, maybe get him going, get him some, get him some confidence early. But, uh, but no, I, I don't think there'll be anything that we, we do too much differently. We're going to run our stuff, and we trust him to do. When you play defenses like you had the last couple of weeks, how much do you kind of learn about yourself, and, you know, as a, as an offense, and, and how much uh, does that allow you to kind of identify stuff you need to work on? Yeah, they, they, uh, the, the thing is about playing really good defenses with uh, really athletic, really athletic uh, you know, uh, personnel, fast personnel, is you, you, if you're a little bit off detail-wise, it'll expose you. And, and we got exposed uh, the last couple of weeks in, in some situations, and it, it forced us some, some key turnovers. So, yeah, I think that's uh, it's definitely, especially you get those guys early in the year, uh, and it, it was definitely good learning opportunities. It was just unfortunate that we were able to have those two kind of Four performances back to back, but uh, yeah, I think it's our guys have have maintained a pretty good attitude about it and taken it as, hey, we got to learn from these mistakes and, and move on and come back and have a great week of practice and, and try to get a better result this Saturday.
anything in particular against Utah that, that you're looking to improve on? <laughs> well, the, we've got to take care of the football. Like, I mean, that's the, the bottom line. And, and then uh, in the and then our red zone execution was was poor. I mean, I think running the football and and uh, and throwing the football down there. I mean, we, we moved the ball, got down the red zone five times, and, and didn't score a touchdown. So that's that's stuff that's we've been we kind of pride ourselves around here as being really efficient in the red zone and taking care of the football. And we didn't do either of those things uh, against those guys, and it was the reason. I mean, it was the reason that we were, you know, only able to get 16 points. Uh, and it, it was unfortunate because in the open field, I felt like we. I was pretty pretty proud of our guys. I thought we executed and did some really good things and, and really moved the ball most of the day, and gave ourselves opportunities to put up points and stay in the game. And it just it just uh, the, those other turnovers and those minus those four or five six plays was you know. Frustrated. You've uh, played and, and coached on a lot of teams and got through difficult stretches, obviously. Um, what what causes a team to fracture in the locker room during a stretch like this, and what causes a team to stay together and, and, and get through it? Well, I think it's it's uh, you have uh, you, you don't experience a little bit of success, and you hear a little bit of some out, outside noise, and guys maybe that aren't playing as much. Um, or maybe not getting as many touches. They start hearing it maybe from family or they start hearing it from the media that maybe they should be doing stuff. This is the reason that we're not having success and it kind of breaks you from within. And uh, that's one of the things I think um, being around here, I feel like our culture is very strong like that. And I feel um, from coaches to players, there's a trust in each other. And um, and I think a lot of the players understand like, hey, we got to stick to the process of what we do. And we're a good football team. Uh, and we don't have to make any crazy adjustments or whatnot. We've got to trust the things that we do and, and uh, keep working hard and trust the process and things will turn around. Well, Jonathan was asked this yesterday, but is there anything you were seeing for not getting Jack more looks in the red zone? Um, yeah, well, we, we didn't get down low enough, really, to get him down there. And, and uh, they did a pretty good job of, uh, in some of our heavy personnel, of really, really loading it up and, and making the box pretty heavy and so uh, we struggled kind of early in the game on some of those runs and later in the game you know we got down there on some of those run downs where we were expecting a, a tight look and just man like man coverage on the outside uh, we wanted to get some, some throws we just didn't execute very well <laughs> with, with a, a bigger guy like Ben would would it, I guess has ever thought of, of running him a little bit down there and sort of sort of use his natural skill set a little bit more. yeah there's a, there's some stuff Ben can do it he's capable of doing that and I think that's just Game plan wise of what we what we want to do, and we we had we had some stuff for Coletta. We just didn't have it at that point part of the field, I guess. You know, but we we love to get Jack involved. He's done a good job for us. Obviously, it's a little difficult stretch for you guys of late. What what leads you to believe this this particular group can get can push through this and, and not break apart and stay together and, and just get through it? Uh, we just have that belief that we can uh, get through anything. Uh, just keep on executing. We we gonna be all right. What, where, where does that belief come from? We're just a player-led team, so we just believe in each other that we can work together, get through these obstacles, adversity, and once we overcome adversity, we should be straight. Playing defenses like you had the last couple weeks, how much does that kind of help you guys as a team kind of learn about yourselves and, and kind of see maybe what you want to uh, work on there? Uh, I feel like as an offense, we, we move the ball well. We just got to finish. Uh, keep on executing our plays, and we should be straight. As an offense, I feel like we're one of the best offenses in the Pac-12. So if we keep on executing as we should, as we know we could, we can be all right. What were your thoughts on the way that Ben came in there and, and performed, aside from the two picks? Uh, what do you think of his performance? Uh, ben was just ready. You know, when his next next man up, he uh, seen his opportunity. He did what he could with it. I just feel like he did a good job. So next week, I, uh, I just feel like we will be all right, too. Offensively, I guess, it, from that Utah game, what really sticks out to you as far as where the, you guys fell short there? Uh, just just finishing. Uh, we getting down to the red zone. We just got to finish our plays, finish what we we know we could do. Just got to finish in the red zone. Mainly just executing, as I said. Yesterday, uh, Jonathan just talked about how since the team has higher expectations, maybe you know harder to take some of these losses. Do you feel that uh, as well, kind of in the in the locker room with the expectations being uh, higher, that maybe taking these losses a little bit more personally? I mean, really, nobody wants to lose, but it's okay. We just got to over overcome that adversity and just learn from it. Just go in next week and with a better mindset, finish.
in the game. So. Situations like this for a team, um, you coming off a few losses, you know, the expectations and all that. Sometimes you can pull the locker room apart, sometimes you guys stay together. What leads you to believe you guys can do the latter? Um, I think we know what we've messed up on. We know why we're, we've been behind the past two weeks. I think it's stuff that we know that we can learn from, we can come back from, we can improve from. So I think just knowing that everything that we want is still in front of us. There's still something to play for. How much does the veteran aspect of this team play into that? Because pretty much across the board, you've got guys that have been here three, four, five years. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it helps. Like, you know, a couple years ago, there was, it felt like this every week, you know? So I think there's a lot of that urgency to like not feel that way again. So I think that veteran, Part of it helps because, like, we've been through it and we don't want to be back there. What sticks out from that Utah game as far as where you feel like you guys need to be better? Um, we came in really, we said, yeah, there was, you know, four turnovers and we didn't get anything back, but it comes down to there was like 154 plays in that game and there was something that could have been improved on every single one of those plays. So it's really just getting back to what we do best and our fundamentals and whatnot, just getting better every week. What did you think just of Ben's command in, uh, in the huddle on Saturday? Did you sense any nerves from him? What was kind of his, your feeling with him leading the huddle? He did a very good job getting in there. I didn't notice any drop off. I sounded the same. It played out the same. It was good. We play uh, defenses like you have these last couple of weeks. How much does, do you guys kind of learn about yourselves and, and uh, how much does that kind of uh, help you identify what you need to work on? Um, Honestly, I think a lot of it, it just comes back. We just know it's on us. If, as long as we're playing our game, like we're good. We just got to get back to the basics, the fundamentals, getting better every week. With, with Ben back there, is there anything um, you're kind of cognizant of when he's back there versus Chance? Is there anything he does a little differently as a lineman that you're keeping the back of your mind? Nah, nothing that I can think of. It's just another quarterback back there. Yeah.